it is a local NGO or rather social enterprise. We envision a society where technology exists in harmony with uh, nature and people and with equal opportunities for men and women. We are uh, based on one of the middle islands of the Philippines. Our main program is on water and the focus is on the ramp pump technology. The ramp pump from 8 feet can pump up to more than 230 meters over a distance of more than 5 kilometers and the uh, highest volume we pumped up was like 200,000 plus liters per day. In the Philippines we have done some 470 ramp pump installations with 235,000 beneficiaries. ATFI is an active uh, member of the Empowering People Network from the Siemens Stiftung. And the idea is among the members to uh, do technology transfer and ATV is one of the first. We have always been working on the ground, low profile, you know, doing great things, but it has to be disseminated, it has to be explained, we need to buck it up. And so we needed an IT uh, expert, which is Brian, and so he's building a website which is both for internal and external use. I'm Brian, I'm from Ireland. I'm a full-stack web developer. I became an expert here because I just wasn't happy working very hard for large companies to make small profit. I thought there's a better use of my talents and I like to travel as well. So this was a chance for me to get out of my comfort zone and to do a small bit of good in the world as well. The Empowering People Network program with Eamon Siftung is a way of helping people in the developing world bridge a skills gap. It matches people like me with specific skills with organisations in developing countries that don't have those particular skills and find it hard to get those skills in their country for the budget they're on. When I first got here, the, I definitely struggled with the food. Um, Filipinos eat rice for breakfast, lunch and dinner. In my past workplaces, you'd have maybe 10 people in an office and if the email system goes down, you wouldn't be able to communicate with anybody. Whereas in Aidfi, some people don't even have an email address. They do everything completely on paper. So it was a challenge to be able to convert that kind of information system from like a paper and a pen to a digital system. A typical day here for me is get up early in the morning, eat, stretch and work from 9 until 5. After work maybe play some basketball, cook some dinner and just socialise with the guys here in the office. Every now and again I take a trip out in the field with the guys to see how the real work gets done on the ground. So we're going to this village here in uh, Santa Rosa. It's a small village here in the town of Morsia. We have around 120 families and this is part of our Agos Ramp Pump project here in the Philippines. I suppose the first thing is the, how kind of remote the community is, even though it's not that far away. A narrow road through sugarcane fields that you wouldn't think actually leads anywhere. There's this entire community kind of hidden away from public view. Basic living standards, no real paved areas, everything is just the bare earth. People appreciate the simpler things over here more than we appreciate it back home. It's quite amazing how something so simple and completely mechanical can do so much. The particular pump they have installed in Santa Rosa is actually working on two levels. 30% of the water that goes into the pump is pumped up the pipe to an agricultural community and 70% rolls back as wastewater which the community actually uses. I hope the main thing is, um, I, think it, I hope it raises awareness of AIDFI and the work they do. Hopefully it'll make it easier for them when they're looking for funding or more awareness. So hopefully it can help streamline their process so whenever they're creating reports they won't have to spend a lot of time looking through leaflets and reports and things and they'll just have instant access to all the good work that they've done and they, they can quantify it uh, more easily. Poverty still exists but AP is very happy that they're making a difference pioneering, creating something, giving some empowerment to communities. They don't have to fix the world, they don't have to make everything correct. They're just making a good go and setting an example and they're happy with themselves and what they've achieved. I think that's an important kind of way to be.